A little nonsense is what I need Now if you wanna get the best of me Got you smiling, that's for sure Funny how you had the best of Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. We're back here at Corvette Warehouse and I'm super excited. Behind me, C6 Corvette Grand Sport. We're gonna take it out for a drive. Stay tuned. All right, guys, let's take a quick walk around of this Arctic White C6 Grand Sport. This is a 2012. They made less than 12,000 C6s in 2012. It was like 11,600 and some odd uh, Corvettes. This one has 39,704 miles. It is 41,995. And I don't know what the color of the interior is, cashmere or we'll just call it tan for now since I don't actually know. But I am super excited about this C6. But I wanted to give you guys the numbers on it before we get out and go for a ride. So I'm also gonna show you real quick how to put the roof up and then back down. And then we're gonna go for a ride. The first step to lowering the top is to pull this handle, turn it to the right, and then lift it up. The next step is you're gonna pull this part right here, go ahead and lift it up, and then you're gonna reach under here. There's a button to release the tonneau. So as you can see, there's the button right there to release it. You're gonna pull the top back, drop it down in there just like that. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure that when you put it back that you put the latch right here back in its place before you put the top back down. And voila, you have a convertible. All right, so the first step is there's a button right up underneath here and we're gonna lift the tonneau. That button again, like I showed you before, is right there. And then the next step is we're going to pull the top out just like that the whole piece because again the tonneau has to go back down bam like that and we're going to set the back down and the front forward and then like we did earlier you're going to grab that latch right there you know pull it down turn it and then push it back into place and you are 100 percent done you are good to go that's it on the top all right so we are heading out in the c6 very much a fan of this car so I don't know if I, I've mentioned it in the past in other videos but the C6 Grand Sport is the car that got me back in to Corvettes every single day coming home from work I would see a C6 Grand Sport that was uh, Daytona Sunrise or Daytona Sunset I don't know which but I would see that every day coming home from work and I was like I think I need a Corvette again. So that was the thing that did it for me. I love the little the way the vents look on the side. I love the wheels of the C6. Just such an amazing looking car. I like the Z06 a lot as well. Um, but with the Z06, um, the, the one thing that I, I didn't care for was the way the vents and stuff were on the side. I just preferred the Grand Sport. I like both, but I just thought the Grand Sport looked a little classier. Now, of course, it doesn't have the horsepower that you were going to get out of the Z06. But sometimes it's not always about how fast your car goes. Uh, I mean, may, maybe to some other people it is, but for me it isn't. One of the cool things that I really like about this is being able to look around if you see how much, how open this is. You know, I know my, grand, my, uh, my Stingray, my C8, is convertible but you still have the two back sections right here that kind of uh, eliminate your when you turn you got your nacelles in the way and all that for vision with this wide open wide open so that's really cool uh, to me this is a purest convertible where the uh, C8 is more of a spider I guess if you want to call it that I don't know if that would be the technical term but that's what I'm gonna call it. But we're gonna cruise down here. We're gonna look for some areas to kind of drive in. And uh, absolutely love, love, love the open 
this of this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I will say, I haven't always been the biggest fan of convertibles that are soft top. I never really cared for the soft top. I had them when I was in high school uh, many, 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 many years ago. And, uh, you know, I got used to it, but they did come with, you know, some of their share of problems. I definitely can't speak to the C6. Uh, that thing seems way better made than the ones that I was used to back in the day. Uh, but, but nonetheless, it wasn't my first choice, but uh, I absolutely love this. I mean, you just can't beat this on a beautiful day. It's like 65 degrees out here right now. And uh, I mean, just look at it. The sun is out, it's a beautiful day. There's nothing like having the top down on a beautiful day, uh, preferably uh, on some better roads than the one that we'll probably be driving around here. But absolutely just such a great car. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just super impressed. I love it. I would say I'm probably easily impressed when it comes to Corvettes because I just love Corvettes all around. You know, it doesn't matter to me really what, what uh, generation they're at. And uh, we are going to have to turn around because we're running into an area that's a no-go. <laughs> so even with a GoPro, it's a no-go. Turn around and get out of here. And I hate these roads that are that have a lot of bumps on them because you know the Corvettes all sit so low. You always have to be very careful not to uh, scrape. But you really, really get to experience the elements when you're driving around in a convertible like this. I'm gonna punch it a little bit. Not bad, you know. The sound on this car is really nice. I believe that this is a stock exhaust and uh, you know with the C8 I just felt like you absolutely need an exhaust this one I don't feel like it's absolutely a necessity so while we're talking on this video I wanted to ask you guys I know Steve and I have talked about doing some different videos with different Corvettes and the great thing about Corvette warehouse is they have a lot of variety and that's awesome. Sounds great. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they have a lot of variety. So Steve and I have talked about doing some videos with different Corvettes together. Maybe, uh, you know, going out, he'll drive one, I drive the other. My question is, what Corvettes would you guys be interested in? And we'll try to make that happen. We'll do a little head-to-head. -head. I don't mean racing them or anything like that. I don't want to affect the insurance of uh, Corvette Warehouse or myself. But we'll take them out like we did with the Z06 and uh, just see you know, what they're all about. And we'll try, kind of try to do a little comparison. And let me know down in the comments which ones you guys would like if you do, in fact, have some. Manual, auto, six, seven, eight, whatever. Justin's Z06, his uh, Victory Red Z06, which I really like. Uh, one thing that I found interesting about it, though, is that one is manual, obviously, being that it's a Z06. The clutch has much more give before it engages than my C7 does. So that was something that I had a lot of trouble getting used to. And then when I got home and got back into my Z06, I had trouble getting 
used to it, you know, getting back to that earlier engagement. So, there's definitely a difference in the clutch on the six and the seven. So this is a great cruising car, man. Absolutely such a great Saturday, Sunday driver, especially convertible. I mean, really, that's kind of what I'm looking at on this is, is the, uh, the convertible part of it. And as a uh, convertible goes, such a, an easy car to drive and the elements you are with the elements that's one of the things that i absolutely love i'm an outdoors person i get if i stick too much time around the house i just go i just get cramped and i, I just can't take it i love to be outdoors i'll be honest with you though when it's 107 112 in texas those days are not as much fun but but days like this absolutely just perfect driving weather which is why I bought the convertible on mine because not all, always did I want to sit there and take the time to put the target top down well with the you know C8 you just hit the button boom it's down this one you do have a little bit of work uh, it's not gonna do it for you but you are wide open wide open but let's look up a Taco Bell because I'm hungry all right so we're here at Taco Bell and wash my hands this would be a no no way in the world I'm gonna be having a drink inside of uh, one of these bathrooms. So the other great thing about convertible is it makes a great table. Love me some Taco Bell. So I put four per burrito, too hot, too mild. What do you think? By the way, I will not eat in a car, even if it's not mine. So we're gonna hit, hang out out here outside of Taco Bell here in Dallas, and we're gonna eat some burritos, man. One of the greatest things about a convertible is when you turn to back up, you have such amazing vision of what's behind you. I love that. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Man, I love this car. Now, I gotta admit, I still think I'm a coupe guy over a convertible when it's a soft top, but there's just nothing like this. Uh, you know, the great thing about Corvette is you can always pull off the top with most all of them anyway, and you're semi-convertible, but man, look at this. That is all about being a convertible, man. I love it, and uh, it's definitely a lot of fun, and I'm in the wrong lane, so I'm gonna pull up a little further. But uh, like I said, that's gonna cover it for today, and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I don't wanna say it was spur of the moment, but it was semi spur of the moment. It was fun for me. Always a good reason to drive a C6, C7, any Corvette. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it. Hope everybody enjoyed this. Have a great week. Thanks for watching.